Hi Leon, it's Davina speaking. You wanted to know how to crop and take the background off and put it into InScape. You will see all the various things on tutorials um, that you've got, but a quick one now to show you how to do it. I brought you wings into GIMP because this is the best place to crop it. And I'm going to go to the crop tool and click. Just move that in a bit and then crop. So that's got rid of one of the wings and I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. So what we're going to do now is take this white background out. And first of all, we need to chain or we need to add an alpha channel so that we will have the transparency. So let's click on background uh, layer, uh, go up to layer and down to transparency, add an alpha channel. And you'll see what happens in a minute. And I'm going to take the background out because it's very simple using the fuzzy select tool. Again, in the tutorials, we talk about this tool. So click on there and click on the image and you will see a selection all the way around. But what that has selected is the background. What we do then is press delete and there it is. It's, it's remove the background and you've got your transparency. But what I'm also going to do, because um, I've noticed when I did it before that there's bits and bobs still left and it's not very tidy. And if we go up to 400, you can see. So while it's selected, I'm going to go to select and I'm going to grow the selection by two pixels. And you'll see what happens. It's going to move in which is quite nice. All this in the middle is protected. So now then I'm going to take the eraser tool and go and just clean up all the way around. If it's too small, the right bracket key a couple of times will make it bigger. And because it's protected, it, it'll come back, the uh, selections will come back. This is a nice quick and easy way because I'm going all over it you see but we're only rubbing out the background that should do what I also noticed is you have these black lines here and when I put it through into InScape it didn't look very nice so what I would suggest is that you go to select and come uh, press, click on none so you lose all your selections blow it up a bit bigger and to do that use the zoom tool a couple of times that should do it once more and taking the eraser tool and of course the you can see the brush is too big so use the left hand brackets key to reduce it and just gently go and take some of these black out it will make quite a difference when you're putting it through InScape. Uh, and to get it back to the ordinary, let's click on 100. Can't see it very well, can we? 200. As you can see, this looks a lot neater, but I'm not going to do that now because I want to show you what happens when we put it into InScape. So you've got your wing there, and what you need to do now, obviously, is save it. Save as, and it's, call it wings, but I want it as a PNG to preserve the transparency. There it is. And I'm going to save. I'm going to replace it because I've already done it. I'm now going to take you over to InScape and we'll have a look at the next procedure. 
we're now in Inkscape and I've uploaded it, imported it into Inkscape. And it's quite a small image, so I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And all I'm doing is holding the control key down and dragging the handle. And you can see this black line is, but this is better. OK, so what we want to do now is to make this into vector, because it's a raster at the moment. And we do this by going up to Path and Trace Bitmap. Now your options here, uh, we haven't done a tutorial on this, but very quickly, there's only two colours, black and white, and we're going to do it in greys because there's no colour. We click the stacks one and remove background just in case there is any, and we only want two scans anyway. And if you click update, it will bring it in there and press OK. And when we get rid of that, you will see it's click. It, that is the traced one. And if you compare the two, let's just go in a bit. Much neater line here, isn't it, than that one, because that's pixelated and this isn't. But do you see what I mean about the, the black here? That's entirely up to you, of course, if you want that. And get rid of this one, and that's your image to work with, as per the various tutorials. Well, I hope that's helped. I'll speak to you again. Bye-bye for now.